So, all right, we've got we had a uh, quite a week uh, this week uh, to recap. I want to just touch on the um, the the vote that took place. I believe it was now uh, two days ago, Wednesday. Um, the Amash Conyers um, uh, amendment that yeah, was, Amash is like the new Ron Paul. I- I- indeed, but the 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 difference in this instance is that probably uh, less racist. Well, yeah, it, uh, perhaps. I mean, I don't know Amash well, but the 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 difference here, of course, is that a majority of Democrats uh, voted with him, and a majority of Republicans voted against that amendment. And the 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 latest story out in uh, foreign policy is, details how Nancy Pelosi, and I think really through uh, Steny Hoyer, uh, whipped against this bill with uh, so-called uh, moderate uh, or conservative Democrats. Um, and then she subsequently you know, reiterated she, she has in the past been fairly uh, decent on these things to a certain extent, but uh, certainly a mixed record. Um, how, how are we to interpret this other than we know that there's uh, basically a Democratic establishment, not unlike a Republican establishment in some respects, that really uh, doesn't want to curtail these powers. I don't, I don't think there's any other conclusion to come to. Uh, I mean, because Nancy Pelosi has to kind of balance that she's a leader of the congressional uh, Democrats with the fact that she herself in, you know, has always been progressive and comes from a very progressive district. Um, and most of the time when you find her, or at least I, in my experience, taking bad positions on issues, it's because she's gotten pressure from somewhere. Right. Well, uh, I mean, I think it was pretty clear early on, um, uh, you know, where, where, where the leadership was going to be on this when the White House came out earlier in the week and went on a full court press to, um, to, to quash this amendment. Now, with that said, I think, you know, the the real story was that it was only a 12 vote uh it lost by only 12 votes it was only 205 to 217 in the negative which is pretty amazing i don't think they the the people that were defending it thought it was going to come that close but you know it is a big deal i mean it's a big deal that enough people in the security establishment as well as the obama administration obviously pressured her to the point where she you know it reminds me of like when they they pressured democrats um against you know, when Obama ran on the reimportation of uh, drugs, and then they, they pressured uh, the Democratic Senate to defeat Byron Dorgan's uh, amendment to reimport uh, prescriptions from uh, Canada. Um, and, you know, so it's, it, in, in that way, it's, it's like when they get, they, they go and they pressure our own leaders to just do what is really sort of not indefensible, I would say. And, and um, the, the upshot is, of course, though, I think that, you know, in many respects, um, this vote was symbolic, and it puts um, it puts the leadership and the White House on notice that uh, future uh, attempts to curb the power of of this uh, basically this surveillance regime um, are which are going to be sort of less blunt uh, of an instrument um, uh, are going to have a chance to pass. I mean, we have now, you know. Um, uh, reform bills that are lining up ranging from uh, how the FISA court uh, appoints its justices, uh, their ability to to make law, to adjudicate law as opposed to just being a uh, issuing bench warrants. We have um, a, a Wyden who is uh, going to offer uh, bills that will curtail uh, the the mass uh, surveillance. We have uh, Rush Holt introducing bills. Uh, I mean, I think this is just the beginning of a long process, but that vote, I think, was indicative that I think there we're going to see at least some reform here. And I spoke to Glenn Greenwald earlier in the week, and he was uh, he has been really impressed with how much impact these revelations have had in that regard. And, and frankly, I am too. I, I think it's it's really. Uh, it, 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 it really seems like there was some pent-up demand by, you know, a... Well, especially a, once all this stuff came out. And, you know, there are people that defend it, would defend all of it reflexively. And, there, you know, I think if you take a look within some of it, it's obviously, as we've discussed a lot, 
uh, heading down uh, a dangerous path. And, uh, you know, it's something that at the very least an argument can be made what you need to do um, in, in a modern society with the kind of technology that's out there with terrorists and whatever. But at the same time, uh, that there be some accountable oversight that exists, right. which we don't seem to have any of. And obviously, a lot of us thought the FISA courts are working, you know, and I'll put myself among those because I defended them when, when, of course, the Bush administration was trying to go around them. And I thought, well, this seems to be the perfect answer, you know, and it's not because we found out that they pretty much uh, rubber stamp almost any request that goes to them. And judges, obviously, when you think, you know, and I, I should have given it more thought at that time, uh, but obviously these judges are, are making decisions in secret without accountability. And who's picked as a judge is pretty important, as we pointed out before. Louis Gobert was once a judge. <laughs> so, I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's um, – and, I've always, and I, what I've always said here is I don't even th- – I don't know that I have all the answers. I think uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's difficult, but I certainly think wanting more accountability, accountability more oversight uh, is, is necessary. And so it, doing this – you know, and this has happened before. I wish I could remember the exact votes on other issues like Iraq and whatever, where, you know, the vote keeps getting closer and closer. Um, and it does send a signal when you come, even if you fail when you come that close. You know what I mean? It's a message. Yes. That, and that's and that's important. Yeah, Unlike, I mean, it functions say, the in some respects. Obamacare votes that never get any closer, but just have Republicans. It, it, it's a, it, it it functions in some respects as as a threat. I mean, this is looming out there, and if you don't, uh, if if we don't have some reforms, then what's going to happen is it's going to be uh, the program's going to be shut down completely. Now, uh, Charlie Savage has a really interesting uh, article out this morning. I don't know if you saw it, but. Um, Apparently, uh, Judge James Robertson, appointing of Bill Clinton, who was assigned to the surveillance court in 2002 by uh, Rehnquist at the time, he resigned from it in December '05. said essentially that during his time, this is 02 to 05, the court was not engaged in developing any body of, of secret precedents, interpreting what the law means. It wasn't until... Um, he said, in my experience, there weren't any opinions. You approved a warrant application or you didn't, period. Uh, it was under Bush in, um, uh, in 06 or so that the, or 05, that the court started to issue these type of, of hearings. And then in 08, the FISA amendments uh, allowed the, the, um, the courts to have a little bit more of authority in adjudicating uh, and overseeing what the NSA was doing, and clearly that was a problem, and that's something that I think that, that that definitively has to be reversed. And when you see votes like this, it gives me um, some optimism that that's going to happen because there's a threat looming out there. You're 12 votes away from uh, scrapping all of the authority, and uh, they're and you had to have your leader whip just to make sure you only lost by 12 votes. Indeed, like yeah. And so, I, I agree with you on that completely. I think that that's going to uh, – these guys are, gonna, are probably a little bit scared right now, and then they're going to have to be more accountable to, to what we want. So that's good. 